Hello, Steve White, Steve Arts 89. Well, I just watched The Munsters today. Um, after watching Wednesday, I went on an Adam's Family Marathon, and then, of course, I want to watch The Munsters, and I watched the original, and I wanted to watch The Munsters today, because I did remember seeing it, like, back in the day in syndication. I saw at least the first season, or a few episodes from the first season, and I had some fond memory of it, but I didn't have a good impression of it overall, and... I'd had a look on YouTube and around. I couldn't see it streaming anywhere. Um, I hadn't seen it anywhere for years. And um, when I looked on YouTube, there was probably 10 or so episodes. And they're all poor quality, like 240 um, and just really bad. And then there were some that were in parts. And I sort of tried to watch a couple of them. And I sort of couldn't get past the opening theme song with um, Herman's really bad singing. And I just, I just didn't do it. So I had that. So that was years ago, but um, I had a bit of luck this time. I actually had a look, and uh, the Internet Archive actually had all 72 episodes of the show um, in I think 480, and uh, they look like they were recently um, done. They look like recently new prints, and they actually looked really good. And I ended up watching the whole lot, and it was a lot better than I expected. A lot better than I remembered. Um, the show ran from October 1988 to May 1991. It was syndicated uh, by um, MCA TV and NBC Universal Television Distribution. Um, it was, you know, a half-hour sitcom, 24 episodes a season, so um, 72 episodes all up, and a pilot, I think it was a 16-minute pilot. I don't think it was ever really meant to be aired. Um, much like the original Monsters had the same thing, they had a 16-minute pilot that was done in colour, cut down to 13, was never aired. Um, this was sort of similar. And it shows that um, Grandpa did an experiment uh, it was supposed to help um, give everyone like a good night's sleep or something. So they all get in these coffins and they basically turn out like cryo chambers and they get stuck for uh, 22 years and they wake up and it's 1988. Um, you know, because the show ended in 66, so it's 22 years later. And um, of course... There's a little bit of culture shock because of the time they spent um, asleep, but they actually don't, they didn't take that anywhere, really. They, they could have taken that a lot further than they did. It didn't really get addressed. But um, they basically did what um, Rob Zombie couldn't do, which was take the monsters, um, get actors that could actually play the characters and, and make them feel like the original characters with some heart and um, make the show feel like the monsters while modernizing it and making it like a contemporary um, sitcom and they did it. Um, I mean it had some very strange stories that didn't really make sense. It had some very simplified stories that were obviously you know just thinking in terms of like a child audience or a young audience but for the most part the stories were good. The It was it's really all about the characters and the acting and I mean, if you like the characters and you like the actors, you really, you just don't care about the rest. You just watch for, for that. Um, now, they had John um, Shuck playing Herman. He did an okay Herman. Now, part of the problem was he doesn't look a lot like Herman. Um, he wasn't tall. He didn't have a thin face. He actually had quite a, um, didn't have much of a neck. And the makeup for Herman wasn't great because um, there's some pros and cons. The makeup, they actually got an Emmy Award for the best makeup, outstanding makeup. But, um, I mean, the designs were good overall, but the application wasn't the best. Now, Herman didn't work. Um, they did two, three things wrong. First off, they made him bright green. Like, the only negative, really negative thing about this show was Herman was bright green. And that seems to be the one thing that um, Rob Zombie took from this show and made his Herman bright green as well. Um, and he, this one doesn't have um, the... the big, thick, overhanging brow. He actually has two brows, and his, the bridge of his nose actually meets with his forehead instead of just that big, black, sort of um, overhanging brow. And he's not as tall as the original Herman, so had they... And he always seems to be looking down so you can see the top of his flat head. Had they had it an inch or so higher, he would have had an inch or so more of height, and um, you wouldn't have seen that. So little things like that, and there's no shading, which he really needed to give him a neck and some... Um, cheeks and a jawline and so yeah he kind of looks like like this short puffy Herman but he plays it well so you kind of forget 
and Lee Merriweather as Lily was great. I loved her. Um, Howard Morton did a really good grandpa. Looks nothing like him, physically nothing like him, because the original Herman, Al Lewis and Fred Gwynn were very Laurel and Hardy, like the little short guy and the big tall, very different. These guys are a bit more similar, but they still acted it really well. Um, Hilary, Hilary Van Dyke was Marilyn, and she was a very likable Marilyn. Um, they didn't play up the, you know, the, the ugly duckling normal sort of angle they did in the other Monster shows with her. They didn't really address it, really, um, outside of the pilot. Um, and then Jason Marston was really good as Eddie. Um, he was quite likable as, like, a teen Eddie. I think he was 13 to 15 in the show. Because um, the show actually went for three seasons, um, produced over four years. Um, they did three episodes more than the original series. The original series was 70 episodes. Um... And yeah, I mean, the colours are a bit extreme sometimes. Like Lily has different coloured dresses and her makeup matches and things like that. And like I said, maybe they wanted Herman to be this bright green just to really, really distinguish it from the black and white show by saying, look, colour, it's kind of like watching the original Star Trek when they were trying to sell colour TVs back in the 60s. But um, it was an international success. Um, it was particularly popular on UK um, ITV. They had it on Saturday mornings or lunchtime, I mean. In the 1990s, it started, and they had um, also some evening shows. Like I said, got Emmy for makeup and hair. Um, and what else? I'm just trying to go for my notes. I don't want to miss anything. Um, they moved. They they kept the house very very accurate. Now I think the opening credits, the first shot is actually a real shot of the house from one of the movies. But after that, it's actually miniature. And they did a really good job because I didn't know it was a miniature for years until I saw the model. It was in some museum somewhere and I'm like, that was a model? I just assumed they, you know, dressed up the real house, which still existed at that time in 88, because um, they'd last used it in 81. Um, but no, it's miniature. And it's very accurate, except on the actual set they moved the door to the side. So um, the staircase and the lounge room all sort of is the same sort of setup, except instead of walking into that, you walk in on the side. So that's a little thing that, you know, they change, but it's not a drastic thing and you kind of forgive it. Um, the modern references were funny. Seeing the monsters talk about um, things like, refer to people like Madonna and um, throw constant shade on Roseanne and the Simpsons and Married Children and um, they talked about Twin Peaks and it was quite surreal because I still think of the monsters as, you know, the original monsters from the 60s. And... As an 80s show, it was fairly decent. You mostly see it with the kids, of course, and when Eddie's at school. Um, now, the credits... The first credits were okay. The first season, I kind of liked them, except towards the end, Herman sings and explains what happened to them. And he does it in this weird, croaky voice, and it's just like, why did he do that? Um, and it was originally done for the pilot, and they kept it. Um, they replaced the Marilyn, because they had a different Marilyn for the pilot. Um, and she had the 60s hair and everything, um, made to look a lot like the Marilyn in the 66 film, which they did after the series. I thought they did it between season one and two, like they did the Batman movie between season one and two of that show, but they actually did the movie after. And then she was brought in and replaced um, the actress who was in the series. So they're actually trying to match her. I never understood why she looked like that, because I wasn't as familiar with the film. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. I really enjoyed Oh, that guest stars that I was... Kind of surprised to see, like, Billy um, Bartley, um, Jonathan Brandis, Ruth Buzzy, Dustin Diamond, Zsa Zsa Gabor was even dragged out for one scene and one line just to win an argument with um, between Lily and Herman. And they had Pat, um, what, Morata? Is that how you say his name? I've forgotten. The, um, the guy from um, Karate Kid, I've forgotten how to say his name. Um... And yeah, they looked at a few things like the family being more dysfunctional, uh, being dysfunctional, because they were more dysfunctional than the Adams family. A lot of people comment on how functional and healthy the Adams family actually was. And one of the things that surprised me with the original uh, Monsters was just how dysfunctional they were and the manipulation that Grandpa always put on them, um, Herman's immaturity, Eddie's tantrums. They really were very different. But um, I can't believe I got 10 minutes out of this. I thought, oh, can I, can I feel five minutes talking about the monsters today? You know, I really enjoyed it. I, I, I watched it. I, I, I wanted to watch it over two or three days, but I kept procrastinating and dragging it out because I was enjoying it. But today I spent the whole day watching the whole third season plus a few episodes um, from another season for I, I got better, um, 
better quality versions of them and I want to watch them but um yeah so I watched a whole season today the whole day was just watching having the monsters today on and I really enjoyed it it's it's all about all about the atmosphere and the characters and being true to what the original series was and the family values and everything as opposed to what they did with the hideous Rob Zombie movie which was just and that's everything compared to that this is a masterpiece this show is brilliant compared to that but um yep yeah. i'm gonna go feel free to share like comment subscribe let me know what you think um now i'm gonna watch watch um mockingbird lane or whatever it's called the other pilot because they did two other pilots to try and relaunch the series they did an animated one called me monsters and mockingbird lane which were both disasters and i'm gonna watch them both now I probably shouldn't have saved them till last because they're going to leave a bad taste in my mouth. Um, but I also found it hard to make myself watch them. So I'm going to go and do that. Bye.